And Warner Brothers did send me over a copy of You Season 2 for review. I did post an unboxing this. If you like to check that out, just search for You on my channel. Now, I did not see Season 1 on this one, and I definitely feel like this isn't the kind of show to jump into on Season 2. I did order Season 1, so I definitely will go back and check that one out when I get a chance. But this one is about this guy who, throughout the season, we kind of get these flashbacks of how um, he had tried to kill his girlfriend and she didn't end up dying or whatever and I'm pretty sure he killed or tried to kill more people in season one but more of that is kind of vague I mean they do talk about it but I don't feel comfortable enough in the details to go over it right now and so now he moves to a new town changes his name um, and he meets this woman by chance and he kind of falls in love with her and he doesn't really want to pursue a relationship at first because he's afraid that he'll end up killing her and then he's like you know what I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a better man because of her and I won't kill her but then he kind of gets into all these crazy situations where he either intentionally or unintentionally murders people um, until the end where uh, his ex-girlfriend kind of comes back and, and tries to ruin everything. And the people in the show are just so crazy and weird. You know, it's California culture. And uh, he basically narrates the whole show. Um, and, and he's like way too aware of everything that's going on. Um, but I, I find it pretty interesting. Like at the beginning, I was just, I wasn't feeling it too much. I think the last couple episodes, they really turn it up. They get super interesting. And uh, the last episode, I wanted to like it more. Um, I, I like the way they were going, and I, but I wanted to like it more, but I feel like they were kind of slowing it down a little bit. But uh, overall, guys, I found it was an interesting show. I give this one a 3 out of 5. Hope